you know, like capitalism produces this like alienation. And I think that um, it's like I explore that alienation through character in the work. I had to remind myself of vows, convictions, and beliefs. I told myself the revolution frequently in order to stay, and I read and reread and memorized our books and pamphlets, righteous things of equality in the nonstop struggle, how to stay pissed and attack people who were wearing looks of contentment and in possession of many items or goods, which I did happily. So your stories are, in terms of narrative, they're, they're really unusual. They, they're kind of, it's almost like this dreamlike logic, they're meandering, they go all over the place. I'm curious to know how you put a story like that together. I think in general I'm interested in really fragmented storytelling and the fragments making a whole rather than, um, you know, putting the whole thing into the mm. frame. Like the entire frame is made up of only these fragments and there's points of connection and many points of disconnect and I think, um, that kind of occurs kind of across the board in all my work because I'm interested in it. Also, anything I write is usually uh, born out of voice or like a larger conceptual idea. It's like one of those two things, almost always. In terms of style, I guess people would definitely describe your work as experimental. Mm -hmm. Is that a word you're comfortable with? Is that a word that describes I, you in your mind? I guess so. I mean, I don't like consciously think of myself as an experimental writer. I think I'm like, um, kind of a reactionary writer in that I'm in conversation with a lot of work in my head in terms of like um, visual art or mm. film and sculpture, maybe even more so than with literature. So I think I'm always attempting to kind of um, deal with the like ideas and concepts that come up in yeah. visual art that I see through text. That's really interesting. How does that work with visual interacting with visual art as a writer? Um, well, I think it has to do with the energy of whatever's coming across in the visual art because it's not as um, cerebral or straightforward as literature. Has writing always been important to your sense of self? Have you always been someone who writes Yeah, to... um, it's always been like necessary. I think I've like, you know, um, actively tried to reject it in the past because it's really? kind of like, yeah, it's so easy, isn't it? Like, what's the point? Mm, 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 mm. <laughs> you know, and especially if you don't have like, I didn't, never had that example. You know, I didn't grow up around artists or writers or, you know, I didn't know how to pursue that particular mm. thing. You have maybe a quite a combative relationship with contemporary American life. Yeah, definitely. Right? I mean, everybody should. <laughs> <laughs> thank you so much. For yeah, thank you. Yeah. Thanks. Yeah.